What up, everyone? I'm Rich Mays Lopez. And I'm Brendan Dunn from Soul Collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor at Complex Sneakers. And this, of course, is Full Size Run, your weekly dose of everything sneaker culture related. And of course, we have another very special guest in the building with us today, my man. Hello, hello. What's going on, guys? Introduce yourself, brother. Trinidad James has made it to Full Size Run. <laughs> We're so happy to have <laughs> you in the building. Actually, I'm a little bit mad because you came with the rings so heavy. Usually, I'm the only guy with the ring down <laughs> like that, but yeah. I, I've been absolutely <laughs> shown up. Hey, man. I mean, sneakers is something that I love, and honestly, I could be, I'm a super honest dude. Um, I didn't know that you guys were doing the show, and I don't know what made me just see it because I, I follow a lot of different sneaker things, and I just seen, I was like, yo. What is this? Yeah. I, was, I remember I, I went to Instagram, all you guys. I was like, who's running this? <laughs> I did, I did, because I was just wanting to make sure that it was official. Yeah. What is conclusion it, did you come to? Exactly. Yeah. What is it that you're looking forward so you can give the stamp of, of approval that it's official? It's different perspectives when it comes to sneakers. So the sneakers right here in the middle. But from the outside, you got the hype beast. You got the collector who just it is a collects. You have the person with opinions or whatever. And then you have the guys who have been in it, who have done it from like, I know one of you guys probably worked at like Foot Lock or, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, so you put that time in yeah. or whatever, as far as from a business person, you know how to deal with a consumer, like all these different aspects or whatever, the things that you guys do together collectively make sense. I was like, okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure that you knew what sneakers was about. And you just wasn't a person who gets with celebrities and hey, <laughs> you, know, like, you know, it's like, bro. So we're certified though. You're good. My man. All right. You're good. Now I need to know, Trinidad James, obviously you came on the scene years back, took the whole space by storm. Yes, sir. All gold, everything. Just yes, was sir. such a movement at the time. Yes, sir. I need to know now in 2018 or maybe even the last couple of years, what is Trinidad James doing? Trinidad James has become fully independent. Um, I own my own record label now. It's called Gold Gang Records. I have two different artists who I work with and I have Did other Did you get artists. my demo? Hey, like, did, hey. did send you an email. I need to you to send it again because I'm All not right. perfect. And so these last few years, especially these last three, I've been out in the West Coast just learning the game on from a business aspect because I feel that creatives love to create. And I love that because I'm a creative. But because I'm very balanced, I understand that the business part of it is equally important because the more I got to depend on you to make me successful is the less power I have as a man. And I'm a man. Speaking about before that, though, you know, I mean, you were signed to Def, Def Jam, 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 Def Jam before that, you know, and you were, you were getting money, you know, yeah, as, as a thing. And you're a sneaker guy. We saw very early on that, like, it kind of seemed like when, when you got that bag, you were spending a lot of it on sneakers and, and gear. Of like, how much were you spending on sneakers? Man, back I probably spent a million dollars, bro. You think I, so? I guarantee you, bro. On sneakers and gear? For sure. A milli? Uh, for sure. I, probably, that, I mean, that, that's what I like. I mean, because I, I, I never had a car because I didn't have my license ever. So I didn't get my first car until, like, <laughs> Two, uh, two years into the game. Yeah. So I didn't care about that type of stuff. It's just not my thing. Big housing and like that. Like I got my mom a house. Mm -hmm. And you know, that was important to do. Otherwise but I it like was clothes. All sneakers, all clothes and shoes, like How, being fresh. Is it difficult to spend a million on, on gear? No, dude, no, <laughs> no, no. What was the first Grail sneaker that you bought when you were like, you had the money? Um, Grail, what was that first Grail? Um, it would be something normal, man. Like. It could have been band ones was like the first thing where I was like, mm -hmm. I just that particular Jordan one. It happened to be band ones yeah. or whatever. The actual band ones with yeah. the X on the back. Yeah, with the yeah. X in the back or whatever. I was like, oh dang, you charged me a thousand dollars for this black <laughs> club. Wow. Speaking of expensive gear, I remember early on, you know, a few years ago when you first got on, you were rocking a lot of Supreme. Yeah. At, at the time and they were like they were I think they were were they sending you shit early I remember you had it like before a lot of other people had it or like what was that like? um what to call it some of it I can't speak on just because can't kiss and tell I would have but I felt very honored very very shout out to Angelo and just okay. that whole okay. team that's a New York legend Angelo. shout out gotcha. you know what I'm saying like thank you so much like I felt very honored to have Supreme early I gotta, I gotta Brass. ask you, I gotta Brass, ask you what? about this. I heard, you know, Unheard some, of. some Atlanta rumors, the ATATF Facebook page. Yeah. Someone told me you were banned for there. Is that true or false? No, I never. Well, I never sold online. Okay. I, I, well, and and maybe maybe they banned me because they thought I was. I mean, you really can't ban me. Nobody in Atlanta can ban me. <laughs> That's just what I heard. That's just I what mean, I heard. When it comes to sneakers, it's a, it's impossible. And you know what I'm saying? And um, So no one can check you in Atlanta for your sneakers? For sneakers, shit. no. I mean, if in Atlanta, in Atlanta, Georgia, nobody, none, any of you, you know that, 
on sneakers can't try me in any form or fashion. You know I'm dad. You know it. Dad? You never put in That's that work. A- you never put in a week for phone posits. None of you kids never camping out for easy ones, mm-hmm. easy twos. Mm-hmm. That was Come you. on, guys. Relax yourself. Nobody All in right. Atlanta, Georgia. When right. it comes to rap sneaker shit, though, like, is there anyone who has it better than you? Tons. I mean, dude, Wale is a legend. Yeah. Right. Stolly is a legend. Right. Um, Fabulous, Fat Joe. Yep. Of course. Got you. So we know you're certified. You just explained all the shit that you've done, right, to get certified. What's your view on the culture now and hype beast and all that shit now? I could be honest with you. It's times where I hate everybody. Even us? No, (laughs) not yet. (laughs) But but because you're not perfect, it will be a time when I hate you for something that you said. But... If I don't hate you, then I don't care about you. Mm. Well, I hope we this can get. Deep. I hope we can get past that. Always get past it. Always. I mean, dude, hype beast and all these companies. Complex pisses me off, or whatever. But then Same. they make me happy. <laughs> right. They make me happy. It's just life. It ain't personal. So you're viewing the culture. It, 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 it is. I appreciate it. Okay. Because I need. I need it. I need somebody to fuck up so we can do it right. I need somebody to do it good so we can do it better. Yeah. That we all help each other to be better. We're gonna daily. try not to let you down. Yeah. So you, you tried to make us better, right? You launched your own podcast show, Camp James, on yeah. YouTube. Yes. Trying to speak to the culture. Yes. Trying sir. to make it better, I assume. And I, yeah, yes, yes. What made you do that? Um, I, watched, I watched somebody do a blog that worked at one of these companies, either or one of the guys who do it, you know, those guys. We'll, we'll bleep those out. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. Those. I'm We're sorry. Ones that matters, yeah. I'm just telling you the honest. <laughs> I'm not honest. familiar, but anyway, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> One of somebody was doing a blog, and I was looking at him do the blog, sitting at my crib in Atlanta, and I was like, dude, you're so fucking boring. <laughs> boring. I was like, dude, I know you got a lot of shoes. I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and at the time, that... I think a lot of people have that feeling when they watch our show, too, yeah. <laughs> to be totally fair. <laughs> Feel free to now, voice that in I the mean, comments. I mean, it's one of those things, bro, that you can't please anybody. Yeah. You cannot. People have a stigma how they want to see sneakers be talked about and who they want to talk about. All these type of things. You, you just got to keep doing it. Yeah. Consistency is key. So what's your thoughts on sneaker YouTube as a whole, besides the boring ass dudes? Um, I mean, it's, it's got a lot better, okay. but it, it has work to do. It has work to do. I even um, stopped Camp James because, um, I mean, Joe LaPuma does it better than me. So, do it. <laughs> he gotcha. does it way better than me now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I got way focused on trying to do TV scripts and movie scripts and shit like that. I was like, let him do it or whatever. I'm coming, revamping the show or whatever. And the next You're show I do, the next show I okay. do, bro, it's going to blow your fucking mind. Okay. We're pushing it. Whole new level. Pushing it. We're pushing right. it. You know what I'm saying? Sneaker based, though. Because I, I love sneakers still, man. You came through with something like in the future. Chilling. Chilling. <laughs> well, I wore these for two different reasons. I got my to outfit on. I got, to make me mad. I, I got my outfit on from last night because I'm still super lit. When I got up and whatever, got the text. I was like, oh, this is happening right now. Bam. I looked at my, the shoes I had around me because I was at my boys in them crib. I was like, well, okay. And I was like, it's good I wore these because I know how much people hate them. And I'm sitting next to the guy who hates the most. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. But I said to myself, I was like, I'm happy that I wore these because what can I wear that even matters? I wore everything. Yeah. And... To talk about the evolution of where sneakers is going, like this is ugly as shit. This is ugly. <laughs> I'm, as, I'm glad we agree on this that. is ugly as shit. That's like I'm not here to sell you, like oh bro, you should get right, these. Right, right, right. No, I just got these because why not? But because you can. Yeah. The one, the one video that we saw from Camp James, I think a lot of people will remember, is that you had Dame Dash's sneaker collection in hand. Yeah. How does that, how? (laughs) Explain I mean, so some of it, once again, I can't talk on just because it's like that NDA type stuff. Did Dame Dash hit you up? No. No. I mean, he probably hates my guts. I don't know, but it's not personal. Why there's so much hate in the sneaker industry, in the sneaker world, bro? I mean, I I think just being a man comes with a lot of pride. And And pride comes with. And shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, because Mm -hmm. you people want moments. We're all chasing moments. Gotcha. You know, it's not really about chasing money. It's about the moment. For me to be describing another man's collection is like, no, nigga, I want to describe my own collection. (laughs) So I get that. But it's no disrespect. It's no harm. The guy who was in there with me, um, that guy has crazy, crazy shit. Jordan shoes. Geller, right? Yeah, yeah Jordan, Jordan yeah. has crazy collection. 
Shout out to Jordan, just mm -hmm. because, I mean, that's, that when I say regular people, like people like that, bro, got way more shoes than rappers, bro. Mm -hmm. Way more, but, bro. But speaking of rappers, though, what, what do you think about rapper sneaker collaborations? Did you ever get offered one, or what do you think about the current crop of them? I could be honest with you, the, the person that I am, I've never, never, not even like in the super height of the all go everything, mm -hmm. I never got a sneaker collab offered to me. No? Never. That's wild. It, it is wild, but at the same time, I was like, you know what? I can respect that because, dude, at the end of the day, I just like to rock and buy sneaks. Yeah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Justin Timberlake has his own pair of Jordans. The second time, I remember spending big cash. One of the most expensive shoes I ever bought was his, the, the Legend of the Summer 3s, yeah. the red joints. I remember. Big I was bag? Like, too much, bro. How much you drop on those? Too much. Too much, bro. Too much, bro. <laughs> 5,000. Over five. Over, Over 10. five. Over bags. five, bro. Under 10. Over 500. Are you, are you, are you, for five do you co sign this whole? See, I, I've been upset about this thing. I, you know, I Why? went on a little tell Instagram him. rant Why? about this tell thing. Him. I just don't understand. He's about to Justin tell you. Hold Timberlake up. getting his own Jordan shoe. I don't, I don't really believe the connection. I, I don't see what he gives to Jordan Brand, what Jordan Brand gives to him. I mean, I get that it was a smart move for them to have him wear the shoes at the Super Bowl because it's millions of dollars of free marketing instead of buying an ad, and it kind of feels organic to people who maybe don't know better, but. I just don't get this, it. This wasn't the one of the biggest moments that Jordan Brand has had in years. It was big, but I just don't. I don't think, think it that he's arguing that. Yeah. I think he's arguing. I think I he's arguing it. Justin Timberlake's relevance. Yeah, or and his your, connection. And you're talking about. Yeah. I, I would say that this is one of those things, and I don't know. None of this is none of this is a fact. This is just opinion. Um, Justin's the type of guy that has the personal connection with Tinker, like they're buddies, and we wouldn't know. Like they've been boys. You think so? Just on some random, I, on something else. They got money. When you got money, you meet people at different places. So I, they might, I, I know dude, they might about that. golf I cannot, together. I relate. Like, they might <laughs> golf together, or like on some random shit, like I they connected. You. I feel you. Or whatever. I've and never then, golfed a day in my life, so I wouldn't know. Me either. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> dude, I'm cool with people that you never believe with just on, not on no rap music type shit. It's mm -hmm. just like, oh, I met this person at a bar yeah. and we party so hard together. We're just cool on human shit. So on human shit, him and Tinker could be mad cool. I don't know, man. I, I, you, you, know got, you got in some trouble said, with this I one. Said, I, wrote, I wrote a story, uh, you know, after it happened, just saying, you know, that this was a massive moment for Jordan Brand saying that Justin Timberlake wearing the Jordans at halftime is like bringing the brand back into the relevancy. What was after. the headline? What was the headline? It was a pun, and it was Justin Timberlake is bringing Jordan Brand back. And you got flames. And people were like, "Where the fuck have, where the fuck has Jordan Brand gone?" And I'm somebody, like, "Somebody said no, they were gonna jump you yo, because but of the headline." People are asking where Jordan Brand has gone in the past few years, and the answer is actually nowhere because they were sitting on the shelves. So, hey, no, nah, I mean that's the truth. That's the truth, though. I mean, hype. It, the, the game is really confusing, and you also got to give Adidas some credit, or I don't know, credit or yeah. hate, however you want to look yeah. at it, because. People's perspectives are a lot more open than where it was just like, Jordan, get it. Jordan, get mm -hmm. it. They kind of slacked off and allowed other contenders to come in and jab so hard that they feel it. Are they still not big and rich? Yes, they're big and rich. But Adidas jabbed the shit out of them. Shout out Kanye, Real shout out Pharrell. Yep. Shout out all those guys over there at Adidas, the staff, everybody. They jabbed really hard and they actually made solid dents. I'm not a, I'm not a big jo Jordan guy, but like putting these sneakers on Justin Timberlake at the halftime show and then selling them on the sneakers app right after. With a bunch of typos oh, in the app. that play was awesome. Uh, with that that play yeah. was in the app. Yo, that the timeline, the timeline during. What did I say? Moments. It was yeah. smart, yeah. but who that the fuck is Justin Timberlake? The time you know, no, just, Justin Timberlake and is I feel not you. cool. I feel you. I feel you. This guy was in sync. I, I didn't forget, man. I, I, I did with, not nobody, forget. But the whole thing about it is, just like you didn't forget, nobody forgets. You've never you never been a... Platforms. It's all about platforms. You've never been like a Friday night, like hanging out in Brooklyn and someone threw on Senorita and like you got your little two step. You don't think Justin cool. Wait, you don't think High Justin has joints? You don't think Justin Listen, has joints? Listen, everything Justin Timberlake has ever done that's cool, this included, is because he partnered up with black people, and this is the same oh, thing. We're not, about, we're not about to get into that conversation. Oh, we're not about to get into that conversation because we're about to. We're about to am I wrong? <laughs> Yo, dude. Am I we wrong? We are about to bait Timberland? the edge lords. I was just about to say, like, Justin Timberlake and Jay Z, and he crushed. No, no, chill, chill. Am I crushed? I'm going to convince you to spend a bag on a pair of Air Jordans. Yo, chill, 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 Anyway, back to the, the, oh shit, god <laughs> damn it. Back to the, and you know what, what one, one more thing. 
So after this happened and I went on this rant, somebody I know reached out to me and said he sold Justin Timberlake a pair of Michigan Dunks in 1999 on eBay. I respect that. So I, I, I believe Justin Timberlake a little bit more, but I just don't think they did a good job telling that story of Justin Timberlake being a sneaker guy. To hear Justin Timberlake Look, use the word sneaker culture, it's like, Wait, hold up, hold up. On, let's, just, let's, let's all get this straight, though. We something we agree with. Jordan won the Super Bowl. Yes. Period. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely crushed the Super Bowl. It was a moment, a yes. massive moment. Yes, sir. Justin Timberlake, out of the equation, still doesn't matter. It was a massive moment. We can all agree with that. The sure. Execution was flawless in terms of dropping. <laughs> hold up. Oh, typos. In dropping, in the... No, not the fucking typos. Dropping on the app. It's selling out. What they wanted, they got. Okay. You that's agree a, with that? That's the fact. It was all about. We we love the message in the moment. We just feel weird about the messenger. That happens. Do you okay. agree with me on that? I'm giving you that. That's the best headline ever. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst thing that Brennan in saw my opinion, all week. Yeah. Okay. One of the best things that I saw all week was the LeBron watch campaign that Nike launched where they're dropping super limited PEs for LeBron. The first one was this Deion Sanders joint where they combined the he diamond turf. Other, I love yeah. this stuff. Those look great. Those look great. Really they did the, they did the, like the waffle issue. racer joint that he was wearing yes, the other the night. Blue they got Griffey joint. joints coming. They got, coming. they got penny joints coming. This to me is super dope. Like he's, you got to figure it out. When you've been up at the top for so long, you got to figure out how to keep yourself new and young. Yeah. And First, I we got to figure that. out how to get to the top. So we'll... Then and once old, we get so there, like, we'll get new yeah. and young. Hey, full <laughs> size run is getting there, man. But bringing this type of energy to LeBron, like you said, once he's been at the top, is revitalizing his brand. This is awesome, Especially bro. with yeah. where basketball shoes are right now. Like, Nike has to do smart stuff like this to yeah. try and get people excited. It's good, yeah. bro. It's good. The sneaker app thing with the drop it right when they drop something yeah. new, that's Fire. great. Yeah. Shout out to whoever is curating that. You're fucking They send great. you shit? Does Nike send you shit? I've got stuff from them before. I can't lie. Not as much as you would think, but I've got stuff before. Like, yeah. And that's what makes me spend that much of stuff because I don't have a problem buying my shit. Oh, hell yeah. You don't got to give me nothing for free, bro. Because yeah, right. I've come from a culture of buying my, shit, anyway. my shit, bro. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. You do yeah. have to give me shit for free. <laughs> <laughs> the money's Let's... different here, though. The, the money's different <laughs> yeah. here. Every week, we look at what's dropping, and we either cop something or we drop something. My cop of the week, I actually already have because Nike sent me it because I'm flexible a little bit. Yes, sir. If you Please. don't mind. A little and that is the, good folks in the oh, PlayStation oh. Nike PG2. So oh, shout out to the people at Nike for sending this over, first of all. What a bag. Please. I got the bag. Take the shoe out. <laughs> Show the shoe, nigga. I put this joint <laughs> on Twitter and people went crazy. So this is the PlayStation uh, PG2 bag fire with like the PG hit right here, the PlayStation hit. Of course. PG, uh, PS here and PG here, fire. They oh, PG sent, on the strap to yeah. the fire. And you got a PlayStation, right? And they sent a full PlayStation Pro. So we might have to do a little gaming night custom, in this house. Custom, custom. No PlayStation way. Pro. Yeah, baby. It is the biggest flex ever. Feel me? Good lord. Feel me? Did you drop, a, did you ever have the PlayStation Air Force ones? No. That's, I, I, I kind of want to get it, mm -hmm, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever, like I've grown appreciation for that. And then the sneakers. Mm. Hard, right? Oh, no, look at that. The tongue lights up. <laughs> oh my! I didn't Feel me? I didn't realize that was happening on the tongue. I still, yeah. I still think the first PG is that. better than this one. But this is this but is listen, nice. This Paul is nice. George has had the best signature sneaker two years in a row. Period. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, mm. Mm. That first Harden shoe is pretty good. I think. What are you? No, 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 no. But I think the LeBron 15 is better than this. No. Anyway, this sneaker is hard. I'm a gaming. Fanatic, Good so God. bringing PlayStation and PGs together. Too? Nah. Just the light of this out, right? Do you, you want to say your, uh, your, your, your gamer tag uh, on air? Chill, because so I don't have can, a bunch of little kids calling you? me the N word on Xbox Live. Oh, uh, feel God. Me? I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. The terrorists on there, bro. <laughs> terrorists. <laughs> Nike PG2, PlayStation, my cop, but I already. Look at this. This is a. This is good. This is fine. This, Be, is, this is good. This All week, George. this week being wow. that some people view me as a negative person, I'm going to drop something. Surprise, <laughs> but it's a brand that I like, um, repping uh, hard. But this Adidas shoe, the EQT Support ADV Mid, sucks 100%. What's wrong with it? Uh, how many times are you gonna try and make it's, like the original? We've seen CQT? the same exact shoe a million times. It's like fucking just like. Yeah. Let me ask you. You mentioned Adidas before. Yes, sir. They're doing a lot of this lately, like recreating the wheel again and again. Is Adidas in danger? Yeah, they out of ideas. They need to slow down. Slow down. I mean, even Kanye's newest shoes, like, bro, stop dropping stupid colors, and that's Kanye. Like, stop. Because just because we say the it's same Kanye shit every and I love week, thank God's I love you. I'm glad people. Call I them. never speak from a, a place of malice. I'm only speaking because I love you. Chill with stupid colors. 
Yeah. All right, here's here's my cop of the week, this uh, VIP Nike Air Force One. I think the Air Force One has cooled down a little bit, but there's still some, some good stuff coming out. I like this one a lot. It's a Japan-only yeah, drop I from just, what we know. I've just seen this. Yeah, it's got like the Tyvek upper. kind of reminds me of some of the Dover Street Market stuff they've done. This hey, is my Dover cop of the week, even though I'm probably not going to be getting a pair. Um, before we get out of here today, I want to get into our mailbag so section. Uh, we have a question from Kidult Life on Twitter, a, a frequent viewer of ours. He's asking, being a fan of Jordan sneakers, do you feel that Jordan brand should slow down a bit on their sneaker releases, make them feel more exclusive again? Uh, do they need to do something differently? Yes, you always need to recreate yourself. I think they're trying to, it's just hard because you got those other people. You see, we have knowledge and common sense with sneakers now. The normal consumer doesn't. I had to realize that when I traveled, like I went to South Korea, um, last year, and dude, they're just buying shoes. They're not thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just buying shoes. You know what I'm saying? And that's the business aspect of this that we would never love, because we're creatives in this. You have a, a, your opinion makes you creative in sneakers, so you will never appreciate just buying shit. Right. Because you don't. You 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 have taste. Yeah, appreciation you know, for it. It's hard to stop or slow down or to strangle the people when it's like, dude, I could put out something with my eyes closed and you'll buy it. It's weird, but yeah. that person's right who said that. I think Jordan Brand is actually planning on this. They've kind of alluded to this, how yeah. they want yeah. to kind of build an aura of exclusivity around certain product again. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it, but they have to die. What would happen if they never stuff. dropped any more retros for the rest of the year? What would happen? Bruh. They haven't they said that First though? All, like several times in the past where they're like, yo, retro. <laughs> <laughs> Job, what the fuck Jesus am I gonna Christ. do? <laughs> yeah. I, I think somebody said something yesterday to me, and I thought about it. I was like, yo, what if some amazing hacker just shut down Instagram and everybody lost their Instagram? Yeah. If you lost it, like you couldn't get so it you back. You see that, I wouldn't mind. Well, what, or, or what if they went back to happened? like, what was it, 2008 when they did the countdown packs? It's chill. And they and they only <laughs> dropped they only dropped one Jordan drop with two sneakers every month, and that was it. Yeah, and well, most of those suck. Before we get out of here, Trinidad <laughs> James, what are we looking forward to you in the future? Um, this year, man, I'm pushing a new project. I'm dropping a new single okay. on the 13th of February. More music. On the music side of things. Um, like I said, independently, it's not about the radio or whatever. It's about, yo, getting people into my bubble. But I feel like it's very important before I leave that as creatives, man or woman, to make sure that you inspire yourself or whatever. And y'all do, if you care, come into the Trinidad James world. It never changes, it's always fly. It's always positive, and dude, I'm just always fighting to make. Wait, it's new always shit. positive. Always, and it's I'm always even it's when it's negative. It's always it's positive. Positive. I'm skipping too. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's honest. So somebody might think that it's negative, like me saying the thing about Kanye's colors that he's been dropping in the sneakers. Somebody be like, "Oh, the dudes hate on Kanye." No, I'm honestly being honest. <laughs> no. My man, Yo, thank you so much thank for you dropping all these gems me. today, bro. We appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. And thank you for certifying us. Yeah, I feel hey, like I feel like we're good now. You can't official. Can't say shit to us now. Final. Period. I'm Rich Mays Lopez. I'm Brendan Dunn from Soul Collector. I'm Matt Welty, editor at Complex Sneakers. That was Trinidad James. That was full size run. Balenciaga sneakers, the ugly ones. Peace. <laughs> Listen, this is important. I need you to subscribe. They're going to make me keep wearing these fake Skechers Yeezys until we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please subscribe to Soul Collector on YouTube now.